right. I think, uh, I think it's on. Are we, uh, are we streaming? I think we're streaming. It looks like, uh, it looks like we're on live on Twitch. Hello, everyone. It's the show. This is the show. Uh, the show is called Jack In, and, uh, uh, there's, uh, the, uh, logo. It's, uh, I'm your host, uh, Bernard Morrison. Bird. Okay, and uh, I live here in the internet, uh, and, and 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 I don't have uh, a, a corporeal body. As you can see, I'm an animated character, okay, living in the internet, and that's how it is. And uh, 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 as a, a part of the show, uh, a, the conceit of the show is it's lonely in the internet, okay? You get it. So I bring I bring on guests. Uh, we talk. And, and uh, he, here's my, on the drums is my co-host and drama, Meeps. How you doing, Meeps? I'm doing pretty good. All right, fantastic. Uh, I don't know what Meeps is. He was just here in the internet floating around when I got here. Just minding my own business. And just minding your business. to you. How, how far back can you remember, Meeps? Have you been here for, for, for decades or, or just since last week or something? You remember when a computer used to take up a whole room? Yeah, I, 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 I remember that. That's right. Then. Then what? Oh, then? Back then. Then? That was That's the answer, long. then. <laughs> Great. Then. Oh, all right. Uh, I don't know any other time. <laughs> you 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 started being uh, 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 alive then, and now it's now, and here we are. Uh, okay. Well, we're also live on Twitch. There's a chat room if you want to come in. Look, if you don't believe that we're live cartoons uh, in real time, uh, then then come in the chat room and say something, and we'll prove it to you. Uh, it, it, until then, uh, we'll, we'll go on with the show. Um, are we ready to go, Meeps? Do you think we should, uh, we should bring on our first guest or, or what? Do you have any th other business you want to take care of? No, oh, do you want to do any topical jokes? <laughs> you know, you want to, you want to see what's in the news today? What's in the news today? Uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't pay too close attention. I guess there was something about a VP running mate, and uh, and then I read some BuzzFeed articles. That's all I. That, that's as much as I remember. According to Yahoo News, it's handbags this summer. <laughs> handbags are handbags are big this summer. Oh, you can't get your hands on one. It would think that with with nobody going anywhere ever, that handbags would be less of a necessity than they used to be. But maybe I'm wrong. Just so. <laughs> okay. Well, I can see that you you're all business and you want to get to the show, Meeps, and I appreciate it. How about uh, you play us in and we'll welcome our first guest, uh, uh, and we'll bring him on to the TV here. Our first guest is a stand-up comedian uh, from a, a sketch comedy group called Night Church. Apparently, they're some kind of scary uh, a sketch group. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll talk about that. Maybe we won't. Please welcome to the show, Ethan Stanislavski. Here we are. There you are. You're on. Hey. You're on the show. Thank Hi. you, sir. How's it going? It's good welcome. to be jacked in. Oh yeah, I appreciate you jacking in with us today. It's it's what I do. It's what I do. Oh uh, yeah, do you jack in a lot? Uh, yeah, I, I jack into a lot of things. Uh, this show is a new experience, but I'm intrigued. So I've got to mix it up. Quarantine brains uh, going to places. This is a very loose masturbation joke. So I'm gonna <laughs> put a wrap on that there. Put a bow on okay. it. 
What is how's your quarantine brain treated you in quarantine? It's all right. I made uh, I have started meditating and I made a vision board. I've said to multiple friends, if I start if I buy a crystal, shoot me. So I'm not going down that road, but uh, we will see. Yeah, well, from a social distance. Uh, from a social shoot distance. Somebody, make that's sure the you benefit shoot of them. a gun is that you don't have, you can be six feet away and still right. shoot someone. You so, don't yes. want one of those those close up range guns that don't yeah. work past six feet. Yeah, the, if you if you have a that, you've got bigger problems if you've had a gun that doesn't have a range of six feet. So I think you're all right. <laughs> okay, so you're meditating, but not crystals. How's the how's the meditation going? It's going all right. I'm trying to do it three minutes a day. One day I was so pissed off. I said, fuck you to meditation and stop. Uh, yeah, I yelled at man at meditation. Um, and then just like angrily the closed out the Calm app. No, it did. There was no no God responding there. Uh, There's no was, response from the void. No response from the muses or the ether or whatever you want to call it. The grandmother, the all the all loving mother, whatever. Gaia, perhaps. Gaia. That's the, yay, that's the term I was looking for. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Definitely yep. not Vishnu. Hey, uh, it could be. That's, mm, that's, I don't know. Are you saying it couldn't be Vishnu? What does that imply? V Vishnu, uh, uh, an, an angrier god, I, I understand. Is that correct? He is, uh, I, I, I would, I wish I had more knowledge of Vishnu. I don't know which one is which is the angry one. I know I, I come from an Old Testament God and he's a bastard, but uh, that's what I was raised with, was just the bastard being the guy up there. And it was a guy. Uh, the angry old Jewish man yes. is, is, is God, it, yes. according to Jewish tradition, I, I understand. That That's pretty much it. Uh, it's a pretty, it's all, there's no, it's all the, fun stuff of religion and no redemption it's just yeah you just gotta live with this it's a very positive upbeat way to live but there's no hell i understand there's Is that right oh uh, it depends can you confirm we, no it hell? depends on there's heaven kind of but no hell but it's all bullshit it's like it's about the struggle so it's basically like yeah you're gonna be shitty alive and at the end it's gonna be you gotta be good while you're here, kinda. And then it's just like, eh, that's that's my analysis of Jewish theology of three thousand years. It's, eh. So that's and then my... who knows what happened. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yes. That's a, a, a drum break for who or, knows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, uh, when you die, you go into the internet. And then you live here, and there's a cloud background. Oh, are you? Is, did you die? Like is that is this like you're like no exit? John Paul Sartre, hell is being in the internet. Well, uh, I I chose to uh, upload myself. I was once uh, uh, like you with a corporeal body, and mm. I chose. Uh, I, I wasn't into it. Uh, it wasn't for me, so I uploaded myself here into the internet. And then, uh, you know, disposed of uh, uh, the leftovers uh, being my corporeal remains. Okay. So I'm just, I, I'm just trying to understand. You chose to, you had the choice to not be on the internet, and then you chose to be only on the internet. That's Have, well, have you seen the internet? Have you seen what it is? Now you think about it. Yeah, I don't I think never you thought, thought this about, out. I, I never thought that I could have just left my, my human body to live, to, uh, uh, to live out its life. Uh, yeah. After I you could have lived. Not only could you have lived its life, you could have lived off the internet. You could have like gone off the grid, could, like farmed or something, and then you chose to be nothing but the internet. I'm just saying you should have thought it out a little more. Because if you've seen I, Facebook lately, yeah. where were you when I was when I was hooking up electrodes to my brain and 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 and, and, and uploading it in? I don't know synagogue. Not I don't here. know. Yeah, something went, like that. Some shit like synagogue. that. I don't know. So uh, uh, I heard, Ethan, uh, you had an engagement, and uh, that engagement is no longer happening. What, what happened? It is no longer happening. Yes, it is okay. I was, uh, yes, thank you. I don't, know if we need, for that. <laughs> I don't know if we needed a, a kick for that, but it's, sure. No, it's fine. Um, I, I called it off, so I'm the one who called it off, so it happens. Um, 
and it was a situation where if I didn't call it off, I'll just be at be at the point of being political about it. It would have been glad it didn't go to marriage, and it, I was engaged, and I was engaged. But if it would have been worse if I was married and not married, or if I'd been married with a kid and not married with a kid, that would be worse because there's two ways that could happen: I could get divorced, or the kid could die. But either way, it's better in my mind just to be engaged and then not engaged. So that worked out okay, I think. Okay, you just avoid that whole hornet's nest of yeah. having kids which are eventually going to die or right. a relationship that uh, uh, it's not going to last. Yeah, those, those are the only two options. But uh, it's fine. Uh, it, like I said, I'm in a better place now, um, just like my future dead kid. It's just, uh, but uh, the only, uh, <laughs> Jesus, um, the only downside to being engaged and then not engaged is uh i if i do get engaged again i better get i better get married because if you strike out on two engagements in a row <clears throat> what does that mean that that is not a good look yeah i guess so and uh if you don't get engaged to the next person that you're, you're intimate with they're gonna be like what the fuck you've done this before <laughs> uh, yeah why not do it again yeah, that's that's how my yeah, that's how it works, right? You have sex with a person once and they're like, We're getting engaged, right? And then you say, Wait, and they're like, What the fuck? Guess you have commitment issues. Uh, no, it's just like if you are in, if you're divorced twice and never and it, people get that, they're like, Okay, I get what that is. If you're engaged twice and you never got married, you're like oh for two, people just look at you like, What's going on? Like how weird is your dick? Like what is happening? No one knows what to do with that. So, the next one uh, that you propose to is going to think they're being punked. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's, a, it's a three strike rule and then you can't get engaged again. But it, it's like it's uncon it's it would be unconstitutional for me to get engaged again. I think that's how the law works, right? I, I'm not sure if that is a constitutional uh, 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 amendment, but uh, we'll, we, we can look into it. Yes. Uh, so okay. we got... So, uh, I, sorry, go on. Oh, wh whatever you got to say, go ahead. Oh, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to think of, like, a context where you could be engaged twice and not married. And the only thing I can think of is if you're, like, a like a raging PCP addict. And then, like, twice you've, been, you've just taken a hit. You're like, we're getting married. And then you wake up and you're sober up at the altar. And you're like, why are you 70? When did that happen? Like, you just have this moment. You're like, this was a bad night. That's a bad night. You got the night you got engaged on a on a trip. Yeah, it's like it's like having a hangover uh, 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 for the rest of your life. Yeah, is that what you call it? By the way, when you take PCP, is that a trip? Are you or like, or is it just high? I don't. I this is the level I know of club drugs. Is that, I don't even know if it's, it's club called. Or... It's called a class one felony. Okay, that that I do believe that I don't know the law well clearly, but I do believe that it is a class one. I would I would believe it's a class one felony. That I would believe. <laughs> that's right. Uh, hey, I, I I just wanted right, to say uh, that's right, kids. We... <laughs> it's a class one felony. PCP class one felony. Uh, uh, there's a few comments in in the. Uh, in the in the chat room uh someone called wizard world live wiz world live says boo night church would you like to boo respond i would because i think there's some uh i think he's a sleeper cell because wiz world live uh may or may not be associated with night church so oh. he's an inside he's a sleeper cell for that he's just building hype in the chat that's what he's doing uh, just hype, uh, he's a hype man in self, disguise self-hating uh, yes night church member yes that is a great way to put it <laughs> yes. also we have someone uh called uh kerosene saying fiance boy is the new fuck boy so i, that's I think fair. that's you sir I, I guess i guess i'm i'm uh i wouldn't evolve is not the right word i'm like it's like what uh ISIS was to Al-Qaeda, I'm that with fuckboy. So Al-Qaeda is the fuckboy, then I'm the the uh, fiancé boy is the ISIS of that arrangement. Does that make sense? Like, you go down a path of extremities, and then you end up there? 
Sure. I, the, the terrorism sure. Of, of, of dating, I uh, guess. Yes, yes, that is fair. Uh, I did once uh, actually accidentally go on a couple of dates with a Trump supporter, so that was fun. Uh, that was a weird time. Um, I found out on date two that she was a Trump supporter, and it was Tinder because, of course, it was. And um, she, uh, I asked her why she supported Trump, and she said, uh, I, it's because I think America uh, is a business, and Trump's the only one who would run America like a business. Those were, that, those were words that left her mouth and entered like, the like air. A- uh, can you hear that? Can you hear me? Yeah. Like all those businesses he ran into the ground. Uh, yeah. Why not so, do it to the entire country? Yeah. So what I what ended up happening was at the end of the date, uh, we made out and then I ghosted her just to teach her a lesson about capitalism. So that's what it is. That's how it works. <laughs> you can do that. It's called free of a choice. A lesson in uh, economics of kissing. Yes. That's, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here Back. for. Macro I got. Economics. I hurt you, and then, you but it, you you learned something out of it. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I guess so. All right, Ethan. Uh, thanks for talking with us. Stick around. Uh, we we will have you. Uh, 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 we'd love to have you talk. Uh, yeah. Uh, chat totally. with us more at the end. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go on to the next guest for right now. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for having me. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, Meeps is playing us in right now. Let's see where. where let's see if our next guest is here. Uh, I have a survival expert, Kevin Donovan. It says here, survival expert, Kevin. Oops, I went to the wrong screen. Kevin, there we go. Oh, Kevin Donovan, there you are. Oh, we can see you. check this out. Oh, ma, it's a cartoon. Yeah. Look but, at this. Uh, you're on a cartoon right now. No, uh, I'm Mr. on it. Donovan. Am I on it? Yeah. You're it. You are, I'm a cartoon. This uh, is unbelievable, kid. Ma, my mother loves cartoons. Ma, uh, get in here. Shh, this is ridiculous. I don't even know how this happened. I was like sitting in front of my computer and I looked on and I was all of a sudden I'm on a show with this cartoon. Yeah, this I don't know. Who, I, don't, I don't know how you got booked either, uh, yeah. uh, to be honest. This is unbelievable. I, do you know Beavis and Butthead? Uh, not, not, not personally. No. I, I saw him once at a party at the other side. I didn't want to walk up though. Oh I, I yeah. Felt, I felt awkward. Yeah. I probably wouldn't want to hang out with them either. They, you know, they're nice to watch, but like, you know, Jesus, they'd probably like drink all your I, beer and like shit on your girlfriend. I mean, you know, I heard literally I heard Beavis is Beavis is about to get me too. Oh, oh no. That's like a tentacle cloud. <laughs> yeah. Meeps. Oh my goodness, this is some sort of wild. tentacle creature. Ma, I I don't know what she's doing. She's in the other room. She's probably on the phone or something. Ma, get in here. This is a, the tentacle cloud. This is ridiculous. I, I think oh Beavis and Butthead are probably like fifty now and probably yeah. less less That's true. charming than they were when they were fifteen. If they're yeah. still doing uh, the same shtick. So. I guess my my one of my questions, my other question would be, is like it's like the apocalypse out here. So is it the apocalypse in there too? Uh, like it's like nope. you understand what's going on right now, right? I I read about it in Huffington Post. Oh so yeah, I'm pretty yeah. caught up. Okay, uh, but uh, inside here uh, we have it's 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 fairly warm and uh-huh. pleasant. Uh, we do have. Compute, computer viruses, okay. but uh, uh, unlike uh, this this COVID that you're apparently dealing with out there, yeah, it's, probably it's not, not that, the same thing, right? Like it's like same. you know, it's funny. You got these viruses that we can't catch, and we got viruses you can't catch. Like I assume you don't have HPV or anything like that. There's none of these no. viruses you want. The ones that you have are more appealing, you know. Yeah, mostly it's just. Uh, uh, spam emails for for penis enlargement pills, which uh, doesn't apply to me. Yeah, no penis. Same here. But you know what? It, you know what? I uh, that's wow. None. No, nah, nothing. Under these clothes, it's just ones and zeros. Jesus, that's. Uh, I mean, that's you know, it's kind of like a penis. 
Inside here, there's no such thing as a Nigerian prince. That's right. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are probably originating that hoax. Is that there's... where all my money's going? We have no concept of monarchy inside oh. the internet, so you can't be a prince here. Yeah, I get it. That's true. Um, so, so tell us, uh, uh, Mr. Donovan, about your survival skills. You're, you're, oh. a, you're an expert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An expert in as much as I watch a lot of movies about the apocalypse, and then I just share my views, you know? Like Apocalypse Now? Not so much. You know, that's more of like a regular war movie. You know, that war movie, like, like you know, I do like movies about war, too. And I do learn some, like, you know, fighting skills and stuff. Look at this. That's a, see that? Yeah. That's Is that almost a like that like a helo from uh from apocalypse now but i do that to keep people away from me generally if i go outside to like get the mail i oh, just it's... swing i swing around the i'm like get keep away from me get it get the fuck away from me because um all of my neighbors nobody's wearing a mask yeah you know, they're like singing you know they're just like it's like i basically it's like i live next to a choir and they never put a mask on they just sing to the mailbox and then sing back to their houses and it's like it's ridiculous. I mean, there's COVID spray, everywhere. Spraying the aerosols all over the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you're saying that with with just an, an everyday plastic coat hanger that that you could turn that into uh, a social distancing device. I do, and you know why? Because there was this kid. He was like special needs on my block when I was a kid. When I was like young, and it wasn't even so much the coat hanger that you were afraid of. You were just worried like what he would do to you when you came around. You know, mm-hmm. like he was really strong. And um, like, I think that if my neighbors see me doing this, they're like, that guy's what's he doing? That's weird. You know, that's weird. Like the coat hang is not necessarily going to work. But if you see a guy on the corner going like this, you know, like keeping that, like keeping their own business. And then I sometimes I'll do like lines from Rain Man or something like that with the coat hanger. People just don't they don't want to have anything to do with you. You know what I mean? Like when I'm taking the trash out, I haven't really gone out that much, but I don't want to. I don't want to be near anyone when I go outside. You know? You, you, you just talk about uh, uh, Wapner and uh, yes, yes, Kmart, and Kmart. Uh, they're all n- nothing. As far as I know, none of it is even left. You know what I mean? I just imagine it's like 28 days later, past those steps at the front of my building. <laughs> You know, it's like just you go out there, you don't go into a church. There's like some guy with bloody eyes who's just gonna attack you as soon as you make the just a squeak. You know, so but I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of recommendations because they say you know they I don't know if it's still about this, but don't touch. You know, so what you do is you um you just cover your hands in like cat piss or cat shit. You can also use um dog shit. You just put it on your hands and then you're not gonna touch anything. You're not touching your face. You're not you're not touching pretty much anything but somebody else, and that'll keep that'll keep you from touching things and getting the COVID on you if you're out there. It, it is any kind of any kind of, of shit acceptable for for this plant? Absolutely. See, you you that's you're picking up what I'm putting down, and what I'm putting down is feces on my hands. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Um, so that's that's the one of the main things. The other thing is what I'm worried about, and I mentioned 28 days later, is sooner or later this COVID, it's gonna it's gonna like mutate. You know, they already say it's mutating. It's easier to catch. At some point, we don't know. It could mutate into like the zombies or whatever. That's what I'm prepared. Yeah, I've been collecting bricks from the courtyard. I've been I'm ready to smash the stairs in front of my building. Like I said, then you then we do like a rope bridge. Um, well, I got a lot. I got the bricks for for throwing at zombies. Yeah, like well, it's like it's a it's a short range weapon. Um, okay. Generally, it's like a thunk off the head. Um, not so much a throw. I'm not that accurate. Uh, maybe if I like, maybe if I shoot it like a free throw, I might be better with the brick because I never played baseball. I was more of a more of a basketball guy. But uh, but you know, I'm I am pretty good. Like I, you know, I I do. I do shoot a lot of bricks when I play yeah. basketball, <laughs> so I think that makes a little bit more sense. So, you know? so here, the the transition to zombie hunting, uh, uh, shit from basketball 
is is natural for you. Yes, yes. Like a you know, they used to call me bricklayer back in the day when they were <laughs> when they were feeling quite bold, Bernard. But yeah. uh, you know, here's that the thing. Doesn't sound like it, 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 a compliment. Uh, oh, oh, it isn't. But uh, you know what I mean. Water off a water off a duck's back is what I always said. You know, because then I'd okay. show them. I'd practice. But but if you notice, a lot of what's going on with this pandemic kid is yeah. is uh, it's like the worst parts of all the worst apocalypse movies, right? Because right now they're talking about um the post office because we got this election coming up. The postman. Right? Oh, With Kevin Costner. So I, now all of a sudden we need Kevin Costner to ride in on a horse. His name's like Ford Lincoln Mercury or whatever his name was. He's got to ride around the mail so we can defeat this guy. You know? That's and the, like and, the most boring apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> yes. an hour of footage of Kevin Costner riding That's a right. horse. That's right. That's right. And like a, and like a, a, a toupee, right? <laughs> The only, the only, the only thing I, the only thing I identify with in that movie is that he needed Tom Petty, right? It was, I think it was Tom Petty who saved the day, or maybe he was the bad guy. I don't know, but I miss Tom Petty. That's all I want. Tom Petty was in that. He was in that. Yeah, I've been watching all these movies, um, you know, and 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 I stopped watching Tom Hanks movies because I was afraid in the beginning that that's how I would get the COVID. You know, you remember back in the day. Tom Hanks got it. His son, his kooky son, is like jock, whatever son. Weirdo is yeah. like talking about his dad's well-being. He's got no shirt on. His son Corey, uh, the rapper. Yeah, and uh, and so and, like, uh, but Tom Hanks got it. I what I did was I just started like burning all my old Tom Hanks movies. Do um, you think that uh, you can you can get uh, uh, the disease that the actor has in the movie you're watching? Yes. Yes, because I was like, you know what? They're gonna end up calling this. Nobody knew. We didn't know. I was like, they're gonna, they're gonna uh, call this Tom Hanks disease. You know, like, um, like that famous baseball player, like, Luke Gehrig. Like Lou Gehrig. Yeah. And so I went to the doctor. He was like, you know, get the fuck out of here. I had to get tested. I had to get tested because I was, I was currently right then. I was watching Forrest Gump. Um, I had put it off. It was the uh, first time I was watching Forrest Gump. It was like, you know, like fucking th three months ago. Uh, anyway. I, the other thing you can catch from watching Forrest Gump is being a charming idiot. <laughs> is that, well, that's, that's not the most unkind thing someone has said to me. <laughs> Tell you that right now. So let me ask you some questions. Is, is, uh, who's in there with you? Is Tron in there? Ron, uh, Jeff Bridges, yeah, Jeff Bridges uh, lives here, in, in, as far as I know, uh -huh. in, in a very low, uh, a, a very low CG. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, an eight bit internet. He's still in. He's still in the one from the eighties. Oh, 80s, the old school one, not the new one, like the Big Lebowski Tron. No, oh. where he's in the bathrobe, you know, uh, the. Uh, he he comes at you with the you know the um the ones and zeros really tied the room together. <laughs> I think that means that he's probably hey. laying down on one of your dicks. It's just a, that was a that was what we like to call in the business a callback. Oh, to the, I, uh, all right, I follow. Yeah, thank you, a, thank you, Meeps. Meeps was, was a, a little late. That pulled the room together. You, you need to see. A movie from the 90s, a movie from the 80s, a movie from the 2000s. You need to have been listening at the beginning when I asked you about your dick. I want to see if these uh, these nerds are paying attention, Bernard. You know, because I... And here's another thing. I don't want you to tell me what's going on in the chat room, all right? Because I get a little I get a little twitchy when, when, I, when there's too much criticism, all right? <laughs> all right. I might go off. There's a few comments about Beavis and Butthead, but I won't right. tell them. So they're behind. <laughs> they're behind. And these yeah, kids don't this... know who the fuck Beavis and Butthead is now. But you know what? The person you don't want to make angry in today's day and age is a guy who looks kind of like Eminem in a skull cap. All right? Because I'll That's... figure it out. I'll go on Reddit. I'll find out what 7-Eleven you visit. And then I'll go cough on everything. 
fucking that's, hey that's, by the way how about a challenge that's co- that's like the that's like the number one challenge right if we're gonna do uh 80s and 90s references let me let me reference fear factor it should be like you know joe rogan in the 7-eleven betting somebody they won't lick one of the hot dogs on the rollers <laughs> that's like a million dollar bet kid uh, if only we still had spike tv <laughs> <laughs> is it gone too it's gone. It's gone so. like all the rest, like Nordstroms and Kmart and everywhere else that's closing. There, people were just like, "Ah, this fucking COVID. I'm done with Spike TV. Everything's closed." You think uh, they'd I be flourishing? That... I got a lot of ideas just for them. It mostly involves yeah. cat shit on my hands. <laughs> I think, I think you have a good chance. You would have a good chance of having your own show if Spike TV was still around. Yeah, yeah, I would. I, I, you know, I'm done. I'm done with that. Ma, I, I don't know where she went. That's the crazy thing. She would love this. You know, uh, I don't know if you know this. Uh, What's that? Mr. Donovan, Kevin. Uh-huh. Uh, I have another guest on tonight. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, and, and that's uh, Dr. Judith Donovan. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yeah. You got my, my mother's on. This is ridiculous. How did you end up? She's you on. said you didn't know how you booked. Ah, this is crazy. Well, at least I, you'll get to know. see you. I guess I guess uh, she's in the other room, uh, on the other line. So I'm glad it's not dial-up. <laughs> yeah. Apparently you have the bandwidth. All right, yeah. uh, Kevin, Mr. Donovan, we'll come back yeah. to you in a little bit. All right, I'm, I'm here. My, this is my crazy. My third guest, your mom. All right, uh, our next guest. How you doing, Meeps? Everything okay over over there? Just worried about Beavis and Butthead. Uh, in, in the in the chat room, uh, Urban Nikki said Butthead is an acquisitions manager and Beavis is on disability from a roofing accident. So if you were wondering uh, where they <laughs> what, where they were now, there's your answer. He got the disability in the worst way. Yeah, the his w- best, a roofing his best friend, yeah, best friend dropped him off the roof. <laughs> that's that's how it goes uh, when you're when you're an aging uh, teen icon, I guess. Um, all right, my next guest is uh, Dr. Judith Donovan, professor of women and gender studies uh, at Santa Monica College. Uh, Who's player in and. Uh, Oops, that's Ethan again. Oops, sorry, I went to the wrong one. There we go. There you are. Welcome to the show, uh, Dr. Donovan. Hello. Cal Glenn, I'm in here, honey. He didn't, he thought I was on, I was on I didn't, the side. He didn't know you were Did you know your son was on the show today? <laughs> no. Well, I, I'd heard some rumors around the rumor um, mill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the mill of rumors. Yes. The mill of rumors, and um, I just thought it'd be a fun, a fun uh, surprise. Um, I did hear that uh, he mentioned Beavis and Butthead, which is That's so true. interesting because when I was getting my doctorate, um, at this point Kevin was, um, uh, honey, I can say this, right? Honey, can I say this? Was masturbating. Um, but 20 out of 24 hours a day. And he referred to his own baby penis as Beavis. And um, and so ah. I just tried to encourage it. Honey, it's fine. I'm a doctor. So... So yeah, so it's been a, it's been a journey, and I'm glad to know that he's still connecting with his body, and um, I hope Beavis is doing well. It's private, ma. I don't care. I know you're a doctor. That's private. <laughs> I tell everyone everything about him. He's basically uh, my example for everything. So. <laughs> All right. Very good. Are you are you proud of your son's uh, work in the in the realm of? Uh, survival uh, uh uh specifically uh, uh rubbing shit everywhere and, and 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 spinning coat hangers and such you know it's uh but thank you so much for for bringing that up uh he um you know with the cat feces uh and the urine 
um, uh, it's been a special time in, in our home. And, um, you know, I try to integrate it into our everyday um, therapeutic experiences. Um, the thing is, it's hard to get close to a young man who always smells like an outhouse at a festival. So I, um, but I tell him, you know, I'm like, do, do you boo? Is that right? Tablet. Do you boo? Do you? Yeah. Is it do you boo? Is that yeah. what you say? That's what he said. Boo, do you boo? Do you boo? Yeah. So, you know, I try to encourage, um, a little guy and uh one day he's gonna find someone special and he's gonna be out in the world and i'm just gonna be you know his mom with a whole bunch of stories <laughs> <laughs> probably not anytime soon though you can be assured of that no he's gonna we're probably gonna die on the same day <laughs> so so tell us uh, doctor uh, uh, what, what is the uh, the general thrust of your your, your gender and, and women's uh, sexual studies? I, I heard what you did there. You said thrust. <laughs> I, I wanted to, I'm on to you. I, All right. I wanted to just get that in the, under okay. the radar. Well, you did it, and I'm proud of you. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to come on the show today to just really talk about the issues that women are facing in 2020. And, you know, these are things that just aren't going to go um, away because women's rights are being systematically uh, challenged, uh, systemically challenged, systematically, all of, all of that every day. Oh. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know if you know this, but Roe v. Wade is in danger of being overturned. Did you know that? I was I was not aware. Mm. So uh, for, for those of you who don't know, uh, Roe v. Wade, of course, was uh, 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 bringing up the issue of a women's right to choose with her body and re women's reproductive rights. And uh, luckily, it's been on the right side of the issue for a long time. But now with the current administration, it's up in the air. And I have to tell you, can you imagine living in a world where a young woman can't just go get rid of of a human growing in her body because she drank too much and did too much GHB. <laughs> and that's not, you know, my first abortion. None of us want to live in that world. No, it's no, a terrible please, world. Uh, please, please continue. Uh, uh, you, were, you were saying about your first abortion? Well, I mean, I, I, I you know, it's, it's such a funny story, actually, because things are so different now than how they used to be. You know, it's, you know, when I was young, I remember I was, um, it was right around Woodstock, um, the second one when they brought it back. And um, Woodstock 99, yes, the only Woodstock. The only one, <laughs> exactly. And um, uh, Kevin, you remember this, right? Do you remember when? Uh -huh. we, yeah. So um, I, uh, I, I, I ended up in some tent. I am, you know, in the middle of a dirt patch. And um, uh, I, there were a lot of, um, uh, all I remember, it was like a, 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 like a bunch of skin and, um, and um, like sarongs. Anyway, cut to four weeks later, and um, I am doing, I'm with a client and we're talking about all the, butt stuff that she's into and uh i feel sick and i'm like what's happening and then i realize oh gosh that was a great weekend anyway there's a bun in the boom. Oven. yeah there might be who knows uh yeah some people thought you couldn't have babies in uh you know in that shoot but i guess I apparently it got in the other way anyway so um uh you know i could just walk into a place and say this is not for me. <laughs> Thank you, America. Get rid of this nightmare <laughs> living inside my. It's g not gonna be good, <laughs> you know. And I just immediately got it out, and it was great. And nowadays, you think about: could that happen? Could I just walk into a place as a woman and just get whatever life was? 
vicariously like living, you know, just living its best life inside of me, away from me, out of my body. And uh, it could be a challenge in a couple of years. So it's, imp it's important that we keep that in the forefront of the um, news. All right. I, I understand. And uh, uh, otherwise, imagine the scenario where we had uh, dozens of Kevin Donovans running around. That's right. One is enough. Right, Kevin? One of you? I think we're good. <laughs> Thank you. Do, you. do you two want to just uh, 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 talk here? Uh, we can bring Kevin and and and, uh, and your mom on together. Oh. Uh, I, I, I guess you, you didn't know you were both going to be here. No, uh, I, well, I had no idea. <laughs> I spent the first half of that, you know, interview or whatever, yelling for my mother. And she was, you know, in the next room talking to you. She was on you. hold. I yeah. was on hold. I was on True. hold. Yeah. You know, I, 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 is that why you always called me the one who made it? <laughs> you, yes. You couldn't get rid of me, Ma. I can. You tried. Stuck. I did twice. Yeah. And boy, did you stick in there. Uh-huh. Uh, I thought it was a kidney stone for nine months. Uh-huh. Like, Oops. <laughs> so, Maybe that uh, explains your, your affinity for, for coat hangers now, Kevin. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. One yeah. for you, Bernard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to spin it for my brother. <laughs> the brother who didn't make it. Yeah. From, from, that, from that, you know, uh, Woodstock 99. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? Could mm -hmm. have been the next president. <laughs> I mean, his his unborn fetus could be the next president. True that. True that. Yeah, yeah. True that. True that. Yeah. Anyway, it's good. I mean, this is great. I mean, what a. I mean, this is tremendous. I mean, you know, sometimes it's hard to take, though. You know, my mother, she's so you know free. Mm. It's great. You know, I know mm. a lot of other people. You were talking about what I do on my own time. You know, I had that thing for 24 hours or whatever. You know, it's like sometimes, you know, but but I, I got to put locks on the door so my mother doesn't come in and watch me, you know, when I'm on like Pornhub or whatever. It's like I got to, you know, I got to find my own modesty. She well, drives me nuts. Honey, it's because I want to make sure that you're expressing yourself in a healthy Mm -hmm. manner uh, uh -huh. i mean oh oh it's but, healthy i would say it's healthier than ever ma yeah these walls are paper thin <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm just saying yeah. you know I, i've said it before i'll say it again but you know i don't i don't like no, you know normal people the, some of the porn on the internet it's too rough people are too mm -hmm. angry with one another it's it's violent mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. right now we just want a little connection with one another you know i was ordering a pizza earlier and i just started crying because the guy was nice to me oh you know we just want a little connection with other people yeah no I that's why this that, is nice i wish that i had um been in the same room with you when you were a baby at any point because uh -huh. i feel like you wouldn't be like this now you know but yeah I was yeah yeah crazy. yeah i was with dad and uh you know in another state which is yes. why we have different accents indeed yeah yeah but yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. um you gotta admit, you know, dad's got a certain allure. Well, Otherwise sure. he wouldn't have hooked up with such a fine mother. Well, he was my pimp for a long time. So that's true. That's true. Um, that's true. A, and that's, that's how he got me this, uh, <laughs> this skull cap that's blessed by a Santerista, uh -huh. which uh -huh. um, can't, it keeps me from getting COVID. Is that, it's, is that what Santa Rita can do with, uh, 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 it, it's 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 like a hat religion that that protects you from viruses. Well, I mean, the my neighbor who gave this to me, I mean, that's what he says. So uh, I tend to believe. Him, you know? oh. Which um, neighbor is this? Mario. Oh yes, no, that yeah. makes sense. But uh, but um, Mexican Mario, not Italian Mario. Oh, Mexican mm -hmm. Mario. Yeah, we got two Marios. We do. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. All right. Well, a very popular name since the eighties. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was a, named, uh, when, when everybody started naming their kids, Italians and Mexicans naming their kids <laughs> after uh, a video game was, it was a big thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, 
so so uh, uh, Kevin, how how did it affect you uh, 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 growing up with with your mother's uh, let's say uh, 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 liberal sexual philosophy? She's wild to say the least. So wild. I mean, it caused me to be more reserved. You know, you would oh, yeah. think I'm some kind of maniac. I mean, I am in some respects, but when it comes to like connections with other people, I mean, my mother, she's just like blown it out. And I'm talking about her asshole. It's true. You know, Literally. another issue I wanted to address. Like a windsock. Was... <laughs> I mean, I'm just being honest, Ma. No, I mean, I appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, it's interesting that, that you that you bring that up because I was also thinking about um, other issues that women face, which is, you know, discrimination in the workplace, mm -hmm. whether it be, you know, a difference in pay or mm -hmm. worrying about um, sexual harassment. And, um, you know, I, I, I got to tell you that... Um, it's important that now we start really looking at uh, how different uh, a woman is treated than a man in the workplace. Like I remember, you know, finding out that the guys I was shooting the adult films with at the mm -hmm. time were making so much more than I was. And I'm like, it's my butt you're railing, <laughs> you know, so. That's true. Yeah, that doesn't true. seem fair. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, uh, I mean, if 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 you got paid by the cum load, we would be like millionaires right we now. We would be For living sure. in a bigger place. I mean, this is ridiculous. We got a two Especially. two two bedrooms in uh, you know yeah. Culver City. Yeah. Why, why are they getting pay paid more when when there's so many people that would do it for free? Yeah. Um, you know, I just, I think it's because they, you know, all had advanced degrees and, uh, um, you know, just really brought, no, I'm just kidding. I don't fucking know, but, mm -hmm. um, I do know that, um, I haven't, uh, had a comfortable bowel movement in about 30 years. <laughs> Ow! She likes to feel it when it comes out. I do. I like to know it's there. Yeah. Instead, it just slides out like the water slide, you know, yes. like uh, and not even not even one of the individual ones. I'm talking about the ones with the big rafts that like whole families go on. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Kevin has always been so good with painting a picture with words. Yeah. And I'm yeah. Thanks, so Mom. So proud Thank of you. you. It's right, because right. you know what it is? I, I've ride. got I've got so much up here that I remember. You from do. when you would like hook up or people were over yeah you know what i mean like like in the living room or you sometimes know like when in you your were... room when you were sleeping on your bed when i because i forgot you were there because of all the lewds that's yeah. right mm -hmm. and just like you know when you were as you like to say practicing your art well you know i was getting my doctorate <laughs> uh -huh. right doctorates yeah. and dick yes exactly. so like when it when it comes to all that stuff it's like it makes you a more colorful individual. You okay. know what I'm saying? You want to go to a doctor who has a lot of experience, and that's right. So, I'm... so, I mean, it's it's up here. I know it's it is it's burned into that right here. That memory. I won't forget it. I know you will. The, but so, you know what so... we want is is now is just a little bit of compassion. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. Like like that's. Or, you know, mostly people keeping away from you, but being nice. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know and, what I mean? And, uh, Dr. Donovan is, uh, mm. is, is the uh, doctorate in Dick uh, uh, a, 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 uh, a normal curriculum at the Santa Monica College? Uh, or, or did you have to build your own course of study for that? What a wonderful question. Yeah. Um, uh, when I um, started developing my course um, at uh, Santa Monica College, it was interesting because they wouldn't actually admit that I worked there. So um, I had to, um, you know, start from the bottom and make it uh, up to the nipples and that's you know I've been really uh, diligent and um, I gotta say I have a very popular 
class. Um, and now that we're all a digital, there's so much more I can I can do. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because I don't have to haul in the big uh, suitcase filled with um, accoutrement, as they say in uh, Germany. So um, yeah, so it's so. been really good. You know, just. That's so you can name. you can now apply for for a digital uh, a dick doctorate. Oh, I would be a P PhD D. <laughs> Double right? D. Double D's. DVDA. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Also, some of that DVD. some of that some of that um, movie consultancy work has gone away too. Like, um, you know, that time that you helped out with the GIMP on Pulp Fiction. Oh, like oh, Joshua. Yes. Oh, God. What a great guy. I mean, uh, let me t- someone who can take direction and uh, and never broke character, mm-hmm. even when they called cut. I was really proud of him. And uh, but indeed, yeah, a lot of that work has fallen off. He also insisted that he pay Quentin Tarantino mm-hmm. to let to him be, be in, in the movie. movie. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Uh, we're uh, we're coming towards the end of the show. We can. Uh, I was wondering if Ethan Stanislavski wanted to come back in and and, and had any questions uh, for our experts, our survival expert and our sex expert. Oh, I can. Hi. Yes, I can come in. Um, hi, hi, Ethan. So I just want to ask, what was the move like between uh, Boston and Santa Monica? Those are very different cultures, and I want to. See oh yeah, for that me situation. I mean, thank you for the question. I appreciate that. For me, I didn't have a choice. Um, You know, when you got warrants out, you just got to get the fuck out of town. So, Mm -hmm. like, that's it. You know, and my mother had an extra room. I do. Yeah, my dead dead grandmother. Yeah. My dead grandmother's room. as far as you can go without leaving the continental uh, United States. That's right. I mean, they can't. It's not like they can extradite me. Um is that, you know, is that for right? the warrants, or, or at least California, they have California, Massachusetts don't have a, an extradition mm-hmm. agreement. California. Yeah. So, um, so that's it. Was it was all right? Um, you know, people out here, they're kind of nice. People back home used to say they're phony. I don't agree with that. I like in and out burger. Um, mm. Yeah, it's great out here. Yeah, I, love it. I like it out here too. I have uh, some Boston roots as well. Oh, so nice! So I've done that transition. Um, Where are you from? Uh, my mom's family is all from Brookline, so they got oh, that. Oh, okay, rich, oh, nice. Jewish. I, I guess oh, kind of same, same, same thing. thing. Oh, yeah. wow! I, we just said that out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you wow. also connections? Are, are you also on the lamb, Ethan? Uh, um, from Boston. Uh, in so many words, uh, I will say this. Um, uh, there's some old tweets about uh, Bobby Kraft that could probably have the FBI's interested uh-huh. in me um, if they if they knew that. And that's not even about his, uh, yeah, about his scandals of late. Yeah, you got to be careful with that stuff. They yeah, really- I got to be careful with uh, all the threats. I'm sending to various members of Boston sports teams. I should uh-huh. really stop doing that. It's just, I'm I behind you I on that one, doing. though. Yeah, but there's no way they can get you as long as you're in California. So yeah, I yeah. say go for it. Exactly. Right there's now no they won't even policy try. Between Massachusetts. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now they'll be like, you can go be a criminal in California now. Mm-hmm. That's what people don't know. Here. It's like lawlessness out there. It's like I saw I saw some uh, road warriors at the gas station the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It's, from, it, you mean like the Australians from the movie? Yes. They had a yeah. one of them had a mohawk. He had a uh, spiked shoulder pads and he and he, he tried to steal But he petrol. wasn't wearing a mask. He still wasn't wearing a mask. He had no. everything else on. Uh, yep. he had the spiked shoulder pads and the, the his head was protected, but his yes. mouth was still wide open. Yeah, he had like a mask over his eyes, but it the bottom half you could just see he was just breathing freely. <laughs> yeah. Just and reckless. You could tell that they were from from like the you know the apocalypse because they kept using the word petrol instead of gas. Mm, yeah, that's uh, it's a dead that's, giveaway. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's 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 from a sign of zombies. I don't want to live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then next, honey, I'm so glad that you brought up road warriors because uh-huh. that reminds me of 
probably my most popular film that I did, Road Warriors, which was all about road head. And uh-huh. um, yeah, I mean, I really kind of, that's how I, you know, it, that basically funded grad school. Mm-hmm. So Also a lot of uh, 80s punk rockers in that one too, right? Yeah, uh, I, too many. I remember I a question, well. actually, if you were involved in Road Warrior, um, I imagine I've heard rumors that Mel Gibson is into some weird self-flagellation stuff, and I feel mm-hmm. like Dr. Judith, while I have you on the mm-hmm. line, yes, if you worked on that movie, you should you would have inside information on that. To put it one way, right? Well, I will say that Mel, um, uh, the issue with him is that he's very insecure about his testicles, and that has basically carried over into every interaction he's had since. Um, so, you know, I, I tried to, um, you know, build him up, um, both verbally and, uh, mouthfully, orally, and, um, I gotta say, you know, nothing could really help the guy, um, He's got a lot of insecurities and uh, very weird testicles. <laughs> so, you know, you, I'm not God. You, you know what yeah. they say? Weird, weird testicles lead to anti-Semitism. Yeah. Uh, right? I mean, yeah. who has better balls than the Jews? <laughs> <laughs> if you think about That's it, right. who's he really mad at? You know? Right. Like, right. We, never, we never saw the phone call. Like, he was mad, he was yelling, but what was he really looking at? Maybe maybe the You're Jews right. are what he calls probably, his, he his probably ugly just balls. Like looking down. <laughs> yeah, that's I would. You know what? If he if every time he bashed the Jews, he was just talking about how shitty his balls were. I have I'd have a little more sympathy. I, right? I think if that's the case, it, it doesn't. I know, right? It doesn't excuse. Me, Dr. Judith. Yeah, it doesn't excuse what he said. No. But but it's just like maybe misdirected anger. Yeah. yeah. It makes a lot more. I can see that very easily. A man with uh, hideous balls has taken out his anger on his truly uh, wretched balls on the you know, Jews. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, and that's that's one of the things my mother always told me mm-hmm. was love your balls. Love them. Love them and embrace them. It's a really good mantra. Yeah. yeah. But you know my mother. The- Usually I say that when I'm just out in public. I'm like, you know. One of the things my mother always told me was love your balls, love but they them. don't know my mother and they think it's weird. Right. It's not weird now that you know my mother. Right. Like, it's not weird that your mother was watching you masturbate and talking about your balls. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, that's weird because, I mean, that's weird anyway, but it's it's weird because it's it takes a lot longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's weird for, in the moment because you're some, like, what are you doing? Maybe. Yeah, right. and then you wonder why it takes me 24 hours. Oh, so it's not that you're constantly masturbating. It's that it just takes a really long time because your mother kept interrupting. Think about it, Ethan, the right? If you're, in, if you're in your own space, whatever have you, you know, you live alone, you probably get a lot of spaces. But, like, if you're in your own space and your mother comes in, that's like people think about that to keep themselves when they're with, like, a hot woman or whatever. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, what do I think of my mother? But but imagine you're you're having a good time. You're on you know whatever your ex hamster or whatever wherever you go, and then you look up and your mother's right there, Mrs. Mm-hmm. Stanislavski. Going right. Oh. Better, better than baseball, right? <laughs> and, uh, See, she goes yeah. boo. See, boo. yeah. Checking, and then boo. why? And then I'm like, why are you booing? Now I don't like Halloween. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah. So mm-hmm. ruined Halloween. Always a then... trick, never a treat. Yes. <laughs> That's true. That's a, I mean, we've uh, definitely we've connected. We're very close, though. You get what I'm saying? No, we're close, but from a distance. Uh, yeah. We're about to wrap up. I think we're almost at the eleven o'clock hour. Uh, uh, Meeps, did you have any uh, uh, questions or, or, or observations for our, our guest today? I just better call my mom and hope she interrupts me. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. Oh, yeah. that is actually sweet. I'll, I'll buy at that. Least, that is sweet. Meep, at least you have you learned, learned nothing from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, to all of our guests, uh, it, one at a time, uh, 
Uh, Ethan, would you like to uh, uh, talk about your social media or any uh, projects you're working on? Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, just trying to live my life in quarantine, but you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Ethan Stan Comedy. I'm not going to make you spell out my last name, so it's just Ethan Stan Comedy. Um, that's what I've been, I've been doing a little more Twitch lately, but I'm still dipping my toes. So thank you for having me on a new Twitch channel with the inspiring layout of sorts. Um, so yeah, that's what I got going on. All right. Ethan Stan comedy. We'll follow you. You follow us. I'm already following you. I'm already following. All right. Appreciate it. And, uh, Kevin Donovan, do you want to, uh, are there any comedians you want to plug or, or give, give a uh, oh yeah 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 uh, sure media? you know um uh well my real name is chris walsh but i have nothing i'm not plugging anything uh All i don't right. know why i used a fake name this is my real voice <laughs> oh, um, how are we just learning at the end that you weren't the person that we thought you were this whole time <laughs> i don't know why i used a fake voice um and uh, I had where, to where I had to do that you? I had to do that to keep my real mother from seeing this. Because <laughs> <laughs> she tries to follow everything I do, and I can't have her talking about her blown out asshole because she would never get that I'm talking about a character that someone else came up with that talks about sex a lot. Well, at least um, she can't but... extradite you back to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> she would if she could. Um, two things I would like to plug. Uh, the first is watch uh, my friend Joe List. Joe List special. He's a New York comedian. I, I know List. Joe. He's good I people. Know Very Joe. funny guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know Joe. <laughs> yeah. Joe's a good buddy of mine. He just came out with a special. It's called I Hate Myself. It's on Comedy Central's uh, uh, YouTube page. It's already got a million, you know, like half a million views or whatever. But watch it because it's really, really funny. He's worked really hard. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys I met when I when I first met doing comedy. I was like, this guy is going to, you know, I mean, everyone thought he was going to be great, but he's really found it. I think this is a special that's like put him on par with a lot of the greats. You should watch it. It's good. Uh, Joe List comedy and uh, uh, on YouTube. It's called I Hate Myself. And uh, and the other thing I would just like to plug is um, buy something from the post office. Buy stamps, buy uh, a shirt get a Christmas ornament, do something so we can give these folks some money so that we can get fucking Donald Trump out of office. That's it. Buy something from right. the post office online and have it delivered. It'll be at your door by the time you're done ordering. All right. Good good advice. Uh, Dr. Judith, would you like to uh, plug uh, yourself or any, any comedians that you know of? Um... I love that you brought up Joe List. He's like the sweetest, cool. sweetest guy. I met yeah, him yeah. a million years ago when I started doing stand up. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm, happy, I'm right? happy to hear that. We're all hey, friends. That's, I met him like in New York like eight or nine years ago. Great. Yeah. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, and it's no surprise. You're all good people. He's a great guy. No, I'm a piece of shit, but he's a great <laughs> guy. I, he may hate himself. I don't hate him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have nothing to plug. I will just say I have two small children, one of which is starting kindergarten next week um, on Zoom. Okay. <laughs> so mm. it's going to go great. I'm sure. I'm so excited. That's good for you. <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> the worst kindergarten teacher ever. But. <laughs> and if, if you want to pull back the curtain and, and give you a real uh, uh, Instagram handle, oh! Ms. Donovan. Sure. Look, I took off my costume. Oh, um, wow. I, I'm so different. And that's um, what, yeah, that's what you look like. That's what I look like, yeah. Um, at Amy Albert, uh, I'm Amy Albert, but you can find me on at Amy Albert Cobb on uh, Instagram. I don't know what Twitch is, but I'm on it now. So I guess I better learn uh, so I don't have one of those. But I'm on Insta. Almost All right. In, yeah, drinking. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, thank you to all my guests. Thank you uh, for having me. Thank Meeps, you guys. Uh, uh, you're already playing us out. Perfect. Um, you can, uh, if you're watching the show, you can send us a, 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 a Venmo at Gravy Day if you like it. If you're rich, it's not free. If you're poor, you can watch it for free. And I'll see you later. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, 
The name of the show, once again, is Jack In. I've been your host, Bernard Morrison Berg. And, uh, well, that's it. Uh, that's the show. Watch every Thursday at 10. And, uh, uh, I don't know. Is there anything else I need to cover? I don't think so. I think that's it. I think it's over. Okay, we're stopping.